everyone in this video we will see how we can trigger a databricks job uh, from AWS Lambda uh, I am going to use the code mentioned in the blob so I am going to follow a blob uh, there we have the code written in Node.js so I am going to follow that step and see how it is working uh, in my AWS uh, account as well as in database account so this is the uh, blob I will just put this link in the description so that you can also go through this blob and get the code also so if you go down further, there you will have a step uh, from AWS Lambda going to the database job through REST API. I am going to use the code mentioned here. So this is the code they have mentioned in this blog. So I am going to use the same code here. So here uh, they are using API call to uh, run the job. They are providing a job ID in the uh, uh, variable job ID. And they are going to pass the uh, uh, post this API. My mentioning is run now. So when they post this API and uh, uh, it's going to run the job and job mentioned in the job ID. So let me do this in in my AWS account and database account. I'm quickly uh, showing to my database account. Right now I'm in database account. I have a job created in my account. So this is my job ID. If you go down, you will find you will find my job ID. This is my job ID. I'm going to copy this job ID. I'm going to pass it in my in the code. Let's go. What I'll do is quickly copy this code from here. This code is in Node.js. Uh, Node.js. So I'm going to copy the exact same code. I'm going to use it in my uh, Lambda function. Now I'm in AWS Lambda. I'm going to click create function. I'm going to give a function name here. Uh, trigger uh, Databricks job name. Databricks job. Uh, choose node.js and remaining going to keep as it is I'm going to click on create function so now it give, give me a default export handler so I'm going to remove this one I'm going to paste the code which I copied from the upper blob so here we need to provide the host name so and then we need to provide the job ID also sorry first you need to provide the job ID then we need to provide the host name then you need to provide the user ID and password so my job ID so this from the Databricks job Databricks uh, you can, portal you can get the job ID you can define your own job in uh, in the Databricks so in Databricks if you go go to jobs you will find a list of all the jobs under your uh, under your jobs okay, you can find all list of all the jobs I have currently set up one jobs here so click on this uh, test job so this is my job ID I'm going to copy this job ID I'm going to paste it in my code here this is the job ID I'm going to paste it here then you need to provide the host here the host is if you go to the top you'll find the URL that gives you the host ID the host so that's my host here so this is my host and then you have this uh, port 443 that's the default one so this is the API call. So this is API jobs run now. So I'm going to refine this API. Method is post. I'm going to use method post here. So here I'm going to pass the run the job. Job ID mentioned the job here. Another thing I want to mention here, mention here is you need to change the user ID and password. You need to provide the user ID and password which you should log into your database that you need to pass it to here. Then you're using a base64 authentication to authorization to uh, authorize this uh, uh, API call. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give my user ID and password here. Then I'm going to trigger this, uh, run this uh, Lambda function. I've given my ID and password. I'm going to give the click on deploy. Then I'm going to give on take, click on take, test. I'm giving event name, Databricks jobs. Shareable and click on save. Click on, give on, click on test here. So once you click, you will get the run ID here. Put log, you got the run ID here. The run ID is triple two. Number number of jobs triple two. This is the run ID which is triggered, which, which you get it from the uh, Databricks. So if you go to Databricks, you will find run ID is triple two here. Now it is showing us running in here. So the, in that in this way, when you trigger this, uh, when you run this lambda function, which triggers this uh, API and uh, that api gonna uh, run the job job id this is job id 
and you will get the response as the run ID here. The run ID is triple two now. That's the triple two got the response from here. So in this way, you can uh, trigger the uh, Databricks job from uh, AWS Lambda. So now the output also went successful. Now the is successful. So in this way, you can uh, trigger the Databricks job uh, from AWS Lambda. Uh, that pretty much that's that's it for this video. And thanks for watching.